What's up guys, it's Cachardio. I am sitting in front of the KTM Duke 790 and this bike and I are alone on this coastal highway road out here in California. And today I'm gonna put this thing all the way through its paces. I'm talking wheelies, knee down, just rip and see how good of a mid-weight naked bike is this for the athletic riding. So hang on, this video is gonna be awesome. You don't wanna miss it. I borrowed this bike today from Scuderia West, which is the KTM dealership in San Francisco. They've got a bunch of 790s down there just like this one. And if you go buy a bike and you tell Alex that you saw this Cachardio video or Cachardio post, you get an additional 10% off on any gear that you buy. So there you go. I'm trying to get you some money, trying to make the deal a little bit sweet for you. The one thing that you can do that would really help me out though, there's a link down in the description directly to the dealership's page. Not only does it help me, but it helps them out and it makes sure I can keep doing cool ride videos like this. So please give that a click. And uh, now that you've done that, if you're already following my Instagram and you're already subscribed to the channel, then I think we're good. Let's get this thing turned on and get a little raw sound out of it. Wow. I'll tell you what, man. I, I said it about the last two or three stock bikes I've been on. They're making stock bikes sound better these days. They're really doing it. This thing sounds great. So uh, let's get after it a little bit here, shall we? So I can tell you right now that uh, I've had this bike for about a weekend here. <laughs> That's higher than I lift on my Super Duke there because I'm just scared of it. <laughs> and I have gotten to know this thing. And I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, man, this bike is the most approachable and fun mid-weight naked bike I have ever been on. It's got all of the components. It's got the power. It's got the handling. It's got the brakes. All of those, yes. But at the same time, the thing that just makes it seem so easy and fun to ride is the insane lightness of this thing. I mean, I am effortlessly just tipping this left and right into corners here. And uh, it really does not care what I want to do on it. It complies perfectly. Oh, God. Yep, that's good. Alrighty, now let's, this is where the lightness comes in. This corner on a bigger bike is tough. But on this bike, look at it, it's just effortless to tilt in. And look at these quick, quick uh, little switchbacks here. Not quite switchbacks, but... Oh God almighty, this thing is good. This thing is great. And I have a feeling I'm gonna be able to get real nice and low on this thing and possibly, possibly power wheelie out of this next corner. This is a corner that I uh, I always do well on, on my Super Duke. So nice low, there's knee down, that's easy. And now lift, come on baby, come on. Oh, I had to lean back and really yank it. And there's the power difference. Upshift at lean with the quick shifter, no wallow through the suspension, very good. Very good, kinda, kinda dusty here. We're not really leaning that hard but we can get back into it in this little section right here. High stake section, you mess up here, you're going swimming. Nobody's trying to go swimming, at least not today, and definitely not in this gear. I love this road, and I love the challenges it has for a bike, but to be fair, a Super Duke and other bigger bikes are just a little bit too much bike for this road. This bike is tight, it's twisty, and it's got little wheelie opportunities. Woo! <laughs> like that right there <laughs> that are a little bit scary on a bigger bike and so the point is even if this isn't you know the most power the most expensive the highest components look at I'm still having a blast on it I'm having that's knee down all the way through there look at that this thing is just fantastic I got stock tires on this thing they're like you know sport touring tires <laughs> give me the grunt now yeah 
I gotta stop just raving and laughing about this thing and actually telling you guys some useful stuff. Let's talk about it. From a sport riding perspective, the handling and the riding position and the lightness is game changing. You know, you come through here and it feels like you're barely even trying to go fast and the thing is just zipping along. It feels like a supermoto with real power. It is that light and that telepathic. I'm in love with this thing. You know, I, I, I feel like an idiot for how hard, this bike has opened my eyes, okay? I feel like an idiot for how hard I have to work to get my Super Duke around these corners. And I've gotta throw my body into every corner. I gotta fight that thing just to take a corner. And I'm doing it slower than I'm doing it on this, and I'm not even trying. I'm just laughing. So this is just, this is just truly an amazing package of fun. If you don't need to go over 140 miles an hour regularly, how is this not the best bike in the world for you? Because it does everything. It's comfortable. You can slice and dice through the city like I was doing earlier, like you're going to see in the video in a few minutes here. So it's comfortable. You can slice and dice. It's cheap, relatively speaking. It's light. It's, it's powerful enough. Ready? Let's uh, get through here. There's a corner where we can power out of up there. Let's just see how it grunts. You know, we'll give it a little bit. I will say this motor is extremely easy to ride. Not very inspired at lower RPM. That was a handful of brakes. Power, power. That's third gear. It started to lift. Brakes are great. The little, little bit more braking power would be nice for somebody like me. And for somebody who's my weight, about 200 pounds, a uh, little bit stiffer suspension would be nice. And I think that's why you have the 890, is if you want to have adjustable suspension, maybe higher spec brakes. But this bike, if you're not 200 pounds, and you're not trying to ride faster than me, this is more than plenty for everyone. And the most, the most uh, kind of, the thing I'm most impressed with that KTM did is make it so approachable. You know, the way they market this thing, oh, it's a, it's a crazy scalpel and they show guys doing wheelies. And yeah, we did a few wheelies back there, but like, it is so easy to ride. It's not hard. It's not trying to rip your head off. So I'm really, really impressed with this machine all, all around. You know, I, I gotta say, this is just, I, I want one of these for myself, you know? <laughs> like, I, I can't really think of another bike I would rather be on up here to do what we were just doing. Listen for it, ready? The quick shifter is so much better on this bike than it was on mine, than it is on mine, on my Super Duke. And so it's a little bit more raw feeling on this bike. It's a little bit more agricultural, but it's so much quicker. This bike has a more brutal feeling to the upshifts, and yet it's so much quicker that it doesn't cause the bike to wallow when you do it at lean. And that's fantastic. And by the way, I'm in third gear here, which is a high gear. Oh, I was gonna go knee down until that car came through. But here it is, look at this grunt out. And I love when you don't have time to like throw your whole body into a corner. Maybe not even time, but you don't need to throw your whole upper body into a corner. With the bars, you could just point it, you know, quick little dive and, and point and it just goes. Don't get a sport bike, don't get a super sport. Any of those decisions, unless you're going to the racetrack, I'm just gonna let you in. They're bad decisions. You're not gonna look cool, you're not gonna have fun. You're gonna be afraid of your bike because it's not gonna be fun to ride. This is the bike you want, man. <laughs> All right, down the hill, let's see what you got for me. Let's go 790. Come on, baby. All right, and let's get some brakes. Oh yeah, and just dive into this corner. Looking all the way through. Scalpel, absolute scalpel of a little bike. And I, I mean, I shouldn't call it little. Scalpel of a mid-weight bike. I can probably tell you before we go further in the video that this doesn't need to be a very long video because this thing is just, it's freaking great, man. Yeah, I'll just tell you right now, there's no issue with it. You don't, you don't need to see a full video, full review. I don't have a single real complaint about this thing. I guess actually, you know what? The mirrors are shitty. You know, look at this. Ugh. The mirrors are total crap. They don't do much. They get loose on the highway and start changing their position. They're annoying. They don't look good. Okay, there you go. I said something bad. The mirrors are trash, okay? That's it. Everything else is fantastic. Sound is good. 
Torque is obviously great in this type of motor, especially from KTM. It's orange, it looks good. It's got the KTM badassery. It comes stock with the quick shifter. It comes stock with all the track electronics, you know, the, the traction control management, the spin control, the wheelie control. All of that comes stock on this bike. It's got a good TFT heads up display right here. Or not heads up, but I mean TFT dash. That's easy to read. It's more clear than the one on my bike, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> what a tremendous value. I'm having more fun than I would on my own bike. How is this possible? You know, half the price, maybe, give or take. I don't know what the exact amount is. But we, we've got a, a great value bike that is incredibly fun to ride. I'm telling you, man, this is a phenomenal motorcycle. I'm, I, we can wait till we get into formal scoring, but this thing is freaking great. All right, so let's use it as a great segue to jump into some formal scoring here. From a fit, finish, and quality perspective, the Duke 790 feels well-made, and even though it has some of the standard KTM plastic, it gets an 8 out of 10 in this category. From a features and equipment perspective, the bike comes standard with traction control, anti-wheelie mode, up and down, auto shifting, and many other good electronic features, but it lacks certain tires and suspension. Overall, in this category, we're going 8.5 out of 10. Flexibility is awesome on this bike. It really does feel like a bike that you could live with every day, commute through the city, and then go have a nice rip on on a back twisty road. The only thing that wasn't there is a lot of power, but everything else in terms of handling, the ability to just run around in town or get out into a twisty was there. And in this category, we're going eight and a half out of 10. Price point at $10,500 makes this bike feel like a ton of great value for how much performance and versatility it can give you. Price is fixed against a fixed scale at $40,000, and in this category, because it's so cheap for how much performance it gives, it gets a 7.4 out of 10. Fun to ride factor is huge on this bike. As you guys saw in the video, I had a blast riding it, and the only way it could go any higher is if this bike had more power, a little bit more braking capability, and a little bit of a stiffer suspension. But overall, 9 out of 10 in this category, that's quite a good score, and it definitely deserves it. And then finally, cool factor with this bike. There are very few bikes, especially in this weight class, that seem cooler than this Duke 790. In this category, we're going with an 8.5 out of 10. Add all those points up and you get a 48.9 out of 60 total possible points and that puts the Duke 790 here as compared to all of the other bikes that we've been riding and testing on the channel and here as compared to all of the naked bikes that it would technically compete with. As you can see, a lot of these other bikes are full leader class bikes or more expensive bikes and the Duke is higher than them on this ranking because it simply gives so much more performance and fun and value for so much less money than a lot of these other bikes require in order to have that degree of fun or performance. I really did enjoy riding the thing. I was riding it more than my own Super Duke for the weekend that I had it and I was zipping through town running quick errands and then I loved having it back there on that twisty road because it's just so light and so fun to ride. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel and you haven't seen the other review videos we've been doing, please go ahead and check them out. Check out the channel and subscribe. Big thanks to Scuderia West here in San Francisco for lending me the bike for the weekend and uh, until I see you guys in the next video. Thanks.